Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I am talking about how to pass value from controller to view in MVC. So let's to create a MVC project, uh, MVC empty project in the solution explorer. Uh, pass value from the controller to view by using the view back, view back object. Uh, here we have uh, different types of object to pass the value from uh, controller to view mm, but uh, here we use uh, only at the rate of uh, view back object actually view back object create a variable type uh, uh, object uh, through which we can pass a list of uh, variables as well as a single variable so add a controller that is home controller this is the default controller first of all we pass the single variable um, from home controller to home view so um, use view back dot name here name is a dynamic property uh, in which we can take a jacob string okay and before adding the view please build your project <coughs> otherwise you can get error so add a view in the home folder yeah that is index.cshtml change the title of the view that is pass single string pass single string okay that's fine now access the view back by using add the rate sign add the rate symbol so add the rate in the division uh, the rate view back dot name view back dot name name is a dynamic property which is used in home controller that is yeah this is so save this and run your project in any browser so uh, check your URL that is home and index and pass single string that is check up okay <coughs> in uh, later video I will uh, discuss about uh, how to pass st uh, query string in MVC so name equals to add the rate of view back name equals to Jacob okay that's fine now um, uh, let's to start how to pass a list of strings from controller to view so uh, here we use fruit name this is the dynamic property name and add a list which is uh, the string type collection in which we can add list of <coughs> fruit items that is apple oops it's not a semicolon it's a comma comma and mango comma mm, grabs comma mm, yeah orange uh, yeah that last is a semicolon okay that's fine uh, now uh, if you are using the uh, mm, list of items then use for each loop to traverse one by one items so <coughs> use for each loop so fruits name are use for its loops mm, unordered list okay order list now use for each loop inside the order list mm, 
at the rate sign for each loop string item in view back dot name okay that's fine now well I list item item at the rate sign item now check it oops getting null type exceptions mm, status of object object reference not set for instance of object because the fruit name or and in the name okay now use fruit name this is the dynamic property now save this close and uh, again start stop debugging and save all your pages all pages the dynamic property fruit name name are same now run application in google chrome yeah that's apple mango grapes and orange <coughs> pass single string change your uh, title name as well as uh, h2 name single string pass list of string also change the single string pass list of string 